welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another tag video and this one's just going to be the autumn tag. Now this is just anything to do with autumn. I'm not sure what the questions are but of course it will be around autumn but I think it's to do with your favourite things to do around that time, what the favourite things you like to watch, to do, to eat, all that good stuff. So again it's no one just so um, you get to know me a little bit, a little fun one to do and a nice cosy one to watch when it's a chilly autumn day. So I really hope you enjoy this video and I'll get straight on into the questions. Now the first thing, the first question is favourite drink. Now I'm a girl of simple things, I just adore, I think it was on the Christmas menu strangely at one time at Starbucks and it was just a simple mint hot chocolate and ever since then I've been obsessed and then I'll have that as soon as September comes that's all I have, a little mint hot chocolate it's just the most amazing it is so fresh but then chocolatey at the same time mint and chocolate go so well together and if you haven't tried that yet from Starbucks go give it a go or just get some mint syrup at home you'll love it so, favourite candle now, I bet this won't be a surprise to you guys and it is the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Candle. I adore it. I wonder if you've seen my last video on all my favourite Halloween scents because this was in it. And honestly, I can't think of a better fall scent than this. It's just the most cosy. I love my vanilla scents. So it's very sweet. And it's just that perfect combination of spicy and sweet. And I adore it. So yes, that's definitely my favourite candle for autumn. Lipstick. Oh, now this is a tricky one because I think I'll have two. I think my two favourites are Ginger from um, Kylie's Lip Kit range. I adore Ginger. It's the most amazing autumnal shade. It's like a brown nude. Adorable. And that with a um, warm toned eye is gorgeous. And I think my other one will have to be Blood by Jeffree Star. I get so many compliments when I wear that one. And it's a truly, really beautiful mulled wine red. And you would think Unicorn Blood wouldn't look like that, but it looks pretty awesome. So I've worn that in quite a few videos in the past and I adore it so much. Unicorn Blood is... Yeah, I find those two are my top two. My go-to moisturiser. Clinique Moisture Surge. Now that is an amazing, amazing moisturiser. I think the reason why I love it so much is because it literally sinks in skin. Because with moisturisers, sometimes I just sit there and you just feel so slimy and oily. And I feel that just sinks in, does what it's supposed to do, and you wake up in the morning in the most amazingly soft skin and it doesn't irritate and it does have a fragrance to it too so I think that helps if you have some sensitive skin and it's a really amazing moisturiser I say winter time that is definitely one to come to go with I know they've also brought a couple more things out in that line which I haven't tried yet and would really love to but yes I would feel that is one of my go to's because I have a combination of dry and oily and it helps for both so honestly check it out if you're looking for a new winter moisturiser because it's a lovely one Go to colours for the eyes. See, you know I'm all about the glitters and shimmers. So anything to do with that, basically. My mum has been given a naked uh, heat palette for her birthday. And she's been very kind to let me borrow it once or twice. And I adore those colours. Like, I feel like I need to invest in that palette. And I think you'll know what I mean. It has the most amazing autumnal shades in it. In all different colours. And just covers the whole spectrum of autumn in a palette honestly amazing palette if you're looking for those kind of colours now favourite outfit to wear if we're talking about autumn here it's just got to be cosy jumpers cosy pjs bed socks so it's time to wear bed socks yes so i'm just all about the coziness with the blankets that's all that's all i really want to do basically in winter <laughs> so uh, in autumn sorry so yes is a mixture between cosy sweaters and cosy PJs. It's just, it's just a weakness. I can't help it. I, it's just something that always happens to me. <laughs> and then autumn treat to do. Treat wise, it's not really um, a treat, treat, treat. 
<laughs> if that makes sense. But I just love having soups. Like, I feel like autumn is the best time for soups. And soups are just so nice. And you get to try it. There's loads of different flavours out there. And I find that is such a nice treat thing to have. I know it sounds like a, not an exciting one. But soups. Truly soups. And they have magical powers when you're ill as well. So yes, I would say that is a definitely not terminal treat. Favourite places to be? Just at home. <laughs> I am a home hermit. Yeah, just at home basically. I would love to go pumpkin patch picking, but we don't have any of that around where I live that I would adore to do. Yeah, that would be my favourite place to be really. What TV show do you, new or old, are you looking forward to this autumn? Now, <laughs> good question. I think it is a mixture between Riverdale and Stranger Things. They both have that very autumnal, cosy feel to them and especially Stranger Things because I think it is taking, is starting in October this time which I'm so excited. Today, yes, Riverdale and Stranger Things are my, two I'm most looking forward to. Yes, it is a full. If I was to go old, I would say a really nice one to watch and cosy up with is Dawson's Creek. Now this follows just a group of young teens starting off their life and it's truly an amazing show. I don't hear many people talk about it but as an old show it is truly amazing and you should definitely check it out if you're looking for a cosy show and it has like a really young Katie Holmes in it as well like she's 15 in it. It's like the most amazing drama filled teenage show truly. It was like the first Gossip Girl but not as glam. <laughs> that, that's not selling it, is it? But you know what I mean, for us teenagers, a lot of drama, a lot of love, a lot of, a lot of sadness. <laughs> Signifies the start of autumn for you. Ooh. See, I think just seeing things in the shops help you get in that mood. I think that really signifies autumn, where you're starting to see the cosy sweaters coming in, as well as cosy blankets, just real, just seeing it in the shops, basically. Of course, seeing the leaves change, I find that such a beautiful process of it. And I feel just having that little chill in the air, air that makes me always get into October. Yes, I think, yeah, it's just little signs that you see throughout um, being out and about when you start to think, oh, I think it's scarf and glove season. I think, yeah, that just signifies autumn to me and seeing pumpkins, definitely seeing pumpkins out and about at places, yeah, that would basically is like when I get so excited. It's basically the 1st of September, I'm like ready, I'm ready for Halloween, that's basically it, it's like my favourite time of year. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love to know your answers to any of these questions, pop them down below for me. and. I really, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys in my next video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Bye!